I was curious because like I watched New Girl and everything. It's obviously very different from The <laughs> yes. Dropout. Was there any pressure with that for you? When New Girl was ending, I, w I just felt really ready to try something different. And this, you're right, couldn't be any more <laughs> different of a story. But I think there, you know, I think there are comedic elements to this story. It's obviously a drama, but um, there's a lot of absurdity baked into the story of the company. That part of it, I felt really comfortable, obviously, because I had a lot of experience writing comedy, but I, I really appreciated being able to switch to drama and think about the characters in a really deep way because this story in particular, and Elizabeth Holmes in particular, is just such an interesting character, and, and this story has so many interesting characters in it, and I just wanted to like, you know, focus on, on the characters. I do miss writing jokes a little bit, so I'll probably go back there at <laughs> a certain point. I thought it was funny. I mean, at first when I started watching it, I was like, this is funny, am I supposed to be laughing? Did you use humor as like a tool to like make her more human? I really went into the story not, you know, I didn't want to make it serious or funny. I was just trying to kind of tell the story as much as I could um, based on the facts that I had. So I, I was kind of just really trying to keep my head down and not judge her and just tell the emotional truth in the moment of what I thought was happening. There is comedy in it. I just never set out to try to make it funny and I certainly wasn't, you know, wanting to make fun of her or make fun of other people in the show. So it was just, I think it, I just wanted to embrace kind of the the sort of awkwardness and the absurdity of, of her world. And, and yes, it's okay to laugh. There's some, <laughs> there's some funny moments in it. You know, gender plays such a large role and I mean, who mm -hmm. Elizabeth was. Was that something that you wanted to like focus on? Yeah, I mean, I, I think gender is a really big part of the story. It's not the whole story, but I think that it's a it's a really you know important element of of the story. You know, the, there historically haven't been as many female tech CEOs. Hopefully, the series asks those questions of of why and and sort of what happened with Elizabeth and. Um, how much her being a young woman was a part of, of what happened to her and what she did. What I really love about this story as a woman, it's a very complicated story around gender. Like it doesn't seem like there's easy answers. I really appreciate that just as somebody who's been writing female characters for my whole career. So, I, you know, this one is particularly complicated. There's a lot of gray areas and I, I I really, I like that. And I think it's a cool part of the show. Did you feel pressure to set the show apart because it's like people have listened to the podcast or watch the documentary and you're like, okay, what's gonna set this apart from other projects? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of amazing reporting about Theranos, but I felt like none of, obviously none of the journalistic pieces were able to try to be in her head for any of those moments. So I, I thought that what this series could do was try to tell it from her point of view as much as possible. Later on in the series, uh, you get a little bit further away from her point of view and other characters like Erica Chung kind of become more prominent. The point of doing a limited series of, of dramatizing a true story is to be able to, to dig into the elements that as a reporter you can't, you know, <laughs> you can't um, talk about. I think what sets us apart is just the, you know, trying to think about it from her point of view and trying to understand in a really deep way what her motivations were.